Remedios Custodio is the Grand Master of the Paladin Order of the Holy Kingdom, and thanks to her enormous strength she is also ranked among the heroes. She is over level 30, making her one of the strongest human characters in the new world of Overlord. Before we dive in, I want to clarify that I will be explaining her strength beyond this by comparing her to Gazef Stronoff, the strongest human in the Kingdom of Riestes, so that we can clearly see the differences between the two. This isn't intended to be a pure versus video, but rather an explanation. So let's get started. Remedios is not purely a melee build. As the leader of the Paladin Order, she is a hybrid build, a mix of holy skills and a traditional knight who specializes in close combat, much like Gazef Stronoff. Thus, she would be much closer to Roberdeck than to a pure close combat fighter like Brain Unglaus or Gazef Stronoff. However, in a direct comparison, Gazef Stronoff would win against Remedios Custodio in terms of raw strength and pure swordsmanship. Also, it is worth mentioning that her sword, the Holy Asterisk Asterisk Salfaricia Asterisk Asterisk, would be inferior to the Kingdom of Riestes' sword, Razor Edge. Not only because Razor Edge is a powerful sword, but also because it can even injure Ains Ulgaon himself, and Ains fears that Razor Edge could even cut or destroy world items. Furthermore, Razor Edge contains a hidden, as-of-yet unseen power that even Gazef does not know about, which was only discovered by Ains Owalgaon. On the other hand, while Salfaresia is much stronger against opponents with negative karma, such as Narborol Gamma or Lupus Regina Beta, who would suffer considerable damage, its special attack is nearly useless against people with neutral or even positive karma. In other words, Gazef Stronoff is a bad matchup for her. But the weaknesses compared to Gazef extend even further when considering the armor of both. Gazef Stronoff, equipped with the armor of the kingdom and razor edge in hand, is like a kind of perpetual motion machine. The equipment heals him and prevents him from tiring. In other words, he doesn't need sleep, and, much like an undead, can fight 24 hours a day, continuously regenerating health. This means that even serious injuries like broken bones can heal within a few minutes. Remedios, on the other hand, requires external support and help for many of these effects. Even in her best armor, she is not able to fight indefinitely or recover from severe injuries on her own. But here's the thing. Neither Remedios nor Gazef Stronoff would operate alone in larger battles. For instance, during the siege of the city by the Demi-Humans, Remedios held the gate by positioning herself in the narrow passage and simply eliminating everything that came too close to her or her sword, always certain that the magic core behind her would heal any negative status effects injuries, and restore her stamina. Additionally, many of the paladins also know healing magic, so the healers can't simply be taken out by close combat units. Not only are they good close combat fighters, but they can naturally heal themselves, which forces the enemy to land a decisive strike and quickly take out all the healers. Otherwise, they risk not only being defeated, but also having fought for nothing, as all the injuries would be healed within a few minutes. This way, Remedios could remain effective in battle almost indefinitely without having to worry about her own mana. This would be more difficult for Gazef because Reyestes doesn't have a systematic training of casters, either in holy magic through a paladin order or in arcane magic like Fluter Paradigm does in the Empire. This puts Gazef at a disadvantage on the battlefield, which he has to compensate for with his equipment. Additionally, Remedios wouldn't just be healed, but would also be endlessly buffed by her supporters behind her. In other words, her combat strength was greatly increased when she defended the Gate of Loitz. However, Remedios's specialization as Grand Master of the Paladin Order is not combat against humans but rather against evil. Remedios Custodio, like all other paladins, also masters the martial art known as Holy Strike, which channels holy energy that explodes upon contact with the target, causing immense damage to undead enemies. This is not only because skeletons and other undead are weak against holy magic, but also because holy strike deals bonus damage against any creature with negative karma. Additionally, as an evil slayer, Remedios can further amplify holy magic and holy effects, especially those aimed at creatures with negative karma. In other words, in her hands, Salfaresia becomes even more powerful against evil creatures but remains mediocre against other opponents. Furthermore, 
Remedios can use classic abilities like Flow Acceleration and Fortress. Fortress allows Remedios to withstand attacks that would normally knock her aside and greatly increases her defense. As seen with Clementine, who was able to deflect a great sword from An's Ul gown using nothing more than her hilt, it shows how useful this ability is, especially against larger and heavier opponents. The second martial art is Flow Acceleration, which classically increases one's strength. It makes one much faster and more agile, improving reflexes and not just speed. However, it causes enormous mental exhaustion due to the rapid processing of stimuli, as the brain has to handle so much input at once, which presents a huge strain. It's almost like overclocking your brain, and then it overheats because the cooling can't keep up. And in the end, unlike Gazef Stronoff, Remedios was able to ascend to the realm of heroes, meaning to be over level 30, even without the use of a magic ring. In other words, in terms of sheer number of levels, Remedios is stronger than Gazef, but she is specialized in fighting evil, not other humans, as Gazef is. Another aspect of her strength is that she openly and without hesitation claimed that she could break the iron chains that were meant to bind Shizu Delta from head to toe. In other words, her strength is clearly superhuman, and even unarmed, she could crush skulls and punch holes in stone walls. She is also physically extremely strong, but her true strength shines in battles against the undead where she not only has special abilities that deal enormous damage to the undead as creatures of evil, but can also imbue her weapons with holy magic and further enhance them. If you add her magical armor, the effects of which we do not yet fully know, Remedios could potentially defeat a death knight or death warrior on her own, as she would deal massive damage, and Salfaricia would do the rest to bring the undead to the death part of their name. In other words, against undead or enemies with negative karma, Remedios is far stronger than Gazef. However, in combat against a pure melee build, she is weaker than her level would suggest, and she would stand little chance against Gazef or Brain Unglaus, despite having a higher level than Gazef. That being said, it's important to note that Remedios could not fight against enemies where she would be strong, namely, the undead, during the War of Pacification. Instead, she was forced to ally with one, while the generally much stronger demi-humans, like Vijar, represented a kind of weakness in her build, which is heavily focused on fighting evil creatures. Those demi-humans do exactly what Remedios also tries to do, but for them, every level is focused on combat in general, regardless of the opponent. Moreover, Remedios rarely uses her enormous strength creatively or optimally due to her very simple mind. If all you have is a hammer, every enemy looks like a nail, 